The tacit dominant narrative uh, of our society is about military consumerism. It is uh, propelled by greed and anxiety and violence, and that narrative is a lie. It cannot produce life. My scholarly work is an attempt to bear witness to an alternative meta-narrative uh, that is based in God's holiness and neighborliness, and that when uh, social power and social resources are administered in a neighborly way, it produces a just and peaceable society. My mind works in terms of these profound tensions which we have to contest. And uh, that contestation, uh, as I understand it, is between the dominant narrative, which cannot produce life, and the alternative narrative of the gospel, uh, which is a promise of life through neighborly vulnerability. Uh, and I think in uh, as many ways as I've been able to imagine, uh, I've been trying to uh, elucidate that tension. In my uh, Old Testament theology book, I talked about testimony and counter-testimony. And so it's always this tension uh, that we have to negotiate uh, that interests me always about uh, doing exegesis. I think so much of this is hooked into a, an uncritical notion of American exceptionalism in which we imagine that we are God's people and we get our nationalism all confused with our Christian faith and uh, therefore uh, America's enemies are the enemies of God and the enemies of the gospel and all of that. Uh, when it seems to me that what we have to recognize is that Islam, like Christianity and like Judaism, we all have our nuts. The nuts are very powerful now in all three traditions and uh, our uh, incredible anxiety about these matters is totally disproportionate uh, to the reality of the facts on the ground. We confuse uh, America being God's chosen people with uh, the whole national security state and all of that. It's the prophetic tradition of the Old Testament is profoundly uh, critical and subversive of those kinds of idolatries. I think we are thick into idolatry. Our fear, I believe, is because we are trying to protect and save something that is quite and ultimate and should not be invested with that kind of ultimate importance. So I think we have huge witnessing and teaching to do uh, to the contrary. And I think what has happened is that, that, that we think that, that our safety is in the American military system or the American economic system uh, when in fact uh, Christians faith is invested in the truth of God and the truth of the gospel, and we've got that all confused and, uh, and for the most part, do not want to sort it out. <laughs>